Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver! Now, since the last episode where I did a great job of catching Raikou, I've been training up two Pokemon you've not really seen that much of. And those two Pokemon are... If I can show you now... Lapras, who I've trained from level 20 to 36, given it Mystic Water, and I've also given it Surf, Perisong, Ice Beam and Body Slam. I can't get Thunder because I don't have the money. You get it for 5,500 coins at the game corner. I, I don't have the money. I don't have the patience to play the slots game. So Thunder is out. Perisong is in. Perisong is a good move. Um, basically it puts a, count, a timer on both your Pokemon and the opponent's. Uh, once three turns have passed, both Pokemon have died, so you ha you're forced to switch to stop the uh, stop the timer. I've also got Skarmory, who I've not trained much, um, but he's got Fly. Fly is the only move he's really going to use. The reason I've got Skarmory basically is because he's going to be a lot more useful than Hootoot in a battle. I really wanted six Pokemon to have in um, every battle, especially with the Elite Four coming up. And Hootoot and Gyarados just won't cut it. So Lapras is going to makeshift uh, move set. So is Skimori. There you go. But we have done with Johto. Johto can go to sleep because we don't need Johto anymore. We're going across from New Bark Town. We're going east, we're heading Kanto Way, and the reason why we're going to Kanto Way is because we need to go to the Elite Four. And the Elite Four, as you all should know by now, <laughs> is the home of the four best Pokemon trainers in the, well, in the region, I suppose. I can't say it's in the world, because the Elite Four is always changing, and it's always different, so, uh, and it's always in different places, so yeah, it's not in the world, it's just in the regions. Anyway, I've already been to this lands, but this guy is supposed to come over to you and say, Check your Poke Gear, you're now in Kanto. Da -da 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 -da. Everybody's happy. But yes, where are we supposed to go now? We're supposed to go into this cave, and this is Tojo Falls, which is the link between Kanto and Johto. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. And as soon as you enter, you are welcomed with a ginormous waterfall. And that's why I brought Gyarados along. I'm not going to give Waterfall to Lapras, she don't need it. What you need to do, go up and around, and I've got to face a Pokemon right in the middle of a waterfall. That makes sense. Slowpoke, no need. No need, no need at all. Now, the, the annoying thing is, for me, at the minute, is as far as catching Pokemon go, uh, goes, Haunter's done. Haunter does need not needs not worry about hypnosis and mean luck and everything, but now it doesn't learn any other good moves apart from uh, Shadow Ball, so that's all I'm, That's all it's going to have, really. TM37 is Sandstorm, and she will give you that TM if uh, your Pokemon trusts you, and it trusts you by winning battles and being nice to it and making sure it doesn't die. And Sandstorm's a strange move as well. It will set a Sandstorm for five turns. All, all um, non-steel, rock, and ground types will take uh, progressive damage. So it'll take a little bit of damage each turn from the Sandstorm, which is it, it can be beneficial, uh, kinda, but not really. <laughs> it's much better in the later games. Uh, in the later games, definitely, um, Sandstorm does give a special defense boost um, to rock types. I'm not sure if it does in this game. Uh, I don't have Skimori with me. <laughs> Gotta bring Skimori out there to take on Ivysaur, but we don't have him with me. Uh, but yeah, Sandstorm is much more useful in the later games, not quite in this game. But anyway, uh, right, so we're off to Victory Road, and Victory Road is usually a very annoying, convoluted maze of evil. And, you know, a lot of the time it's it's very annoying, it's very pointless. You don't really want to do it. But in this game, it's actually quite easy, apparently. I can't remember it off my top of my head, but I've been told that it's a lot simpler. And that, well, that'll do me the world of good. <laughs> now, as far as the Elite Four goes, as far as levels go, I'm... I'm okay for the first four battle, 
uh, well, first three battles. For the final battle, I'm very underleveled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop Kadabra at the top of my list. Because uh, Haunt, I don't need the training. Because uh, Kadabra is going to play a massive part in the uh, final battle. The final battle is a very tough one because there's a big jump in levels. So I'd rather train Kadabra, who was my strongest Pokemon at the minute. I'd rather overlevel him and underlevel the rest just for that final battle. Dun, dun, but yes, all eight badges. We are done. We are done with that blasted Johto. Oh, God. And usually I would end the LP here because usually there's only 8 badges, but no, there's 16 now, so I've got to go back to Kanto and take on all the gyms that I did in the Pokemon Red LP again. <sighs> but there are some drastic changes to the to the Kanto world because you got to remember, this is 3 years from... Um, oh, who should I use? Oh, she's hot. This is uh, the the events of Johto are three years after the events of Kanto, so a few things have changed, and it's interesting to see those changes. I'll hopefully be pointing them all out. I might miss a few, but you know, I'll I'll, I'll get most of them. Uh oh, we are weak to earthquake and Quag's eyes are ground type, so this is gonna hurt. Oh dear, that did hurt. That hurt a lot. <laughs> But don't worry, we survive. And we survive to get quite a lot of experience for Hunter. Even though it doesn't look like that much. Last Pokemon is Execute, who is a grass and psychic type Pokemon who looks like a bunch of broken eggs. Angry eggs. Grrr. I always wondered about Execute. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six eggs there. If, if one of the eggs gets stolen, is it not an Execute anymore? Hmm. Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Kadabra. And Kadabra needs to be quite a bit higher. I want to try to get into level 45 before I face the last Elite Four battle because... Oh, well, well you, you'll soon see that it, it can be quite tough if you don't have the Pokemon. <laughs> but not tougher than Raikou. Catching Raikou was a pain in the ass. I'm hoping you're all sympathising with me when you see that episode, because, oh, it's a shocker. I hate Raikou so much. Ooh, just, oh, I, I thought he was going to survive that then. And that's a nice chunk of experience for Kadabra. Dun, 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 dun. You always get good money and good uh, experience from the cool trainers. They always have good Pokemon, like Bulbasaur or... You know, Charizard or Pokemon that give you a lot of experience. Chansey and all that. I've not seen the Chansey yet. I don't like the pink Pokemon. The pink Pokemon are rubbish. <laughs> anyway, let's take on Gilbert. And Gilbert has a Starmie who is a psychic and water type Pokemon. Luckily for Kadabra, time to get sparky. It's Thunder Punch time. Yes, yeah, Starmie, who I, I love Starmie in the first generation. I not used him in this generation. Him, her, it, whatever. Oh god, look at our stats. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, execute, as I've already just told you, grass and psychic type, so all you need to do, fire punch or ice punch would do it because it's a grass type. Bug Pokemon will have a great time against Execute, and it's evolved for him. But there you go, there's another uh, Execute gun. And the final Pokemon, no idea what it is. It is a Giraffe Rig. Uh, that won't do. I'm gonna have to overpower Giraffe Rig with Typhlosion. And Giraffe Rig, as a, I think I've mentioned before, is a normal and psychic type Pokemon. And usually psychic type Pokemon are weak to ghost moves, but because it's a normal type, it gains an immunity. So that's that's about the only use for Giraffe Rig. A lot of people think it's cute. I think it looks kind of deranged with its cat, with its chain chomp tail. I, I, I don't get it to be honest. <sighs> but it does learn quite a lot of support moves. I think it gets baton pass. Uh, it gets agility, as you've just seen. So it's okay. It's fun to use in a in a friend battle, maybe. That's about it. And Gilbert has gone. Hooray! You're too much. Why? Thank you. 
Um, I don't actually have time for one more battle, so I'm sorry for. Oh, I didn't think I didn't think she'd see me. Let's see if we can rip her apart. <laughs> that sounded wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see if we can defeat her. Free Pokemon. Come on, Arena. Let's do this. Star me will go down to Thunder Punch once more. I don't really want to have to end this episode in a battle, but if I have to, then uh, then I have to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Been another big chunk of experience. Yeah, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. So, uh, we've got Rena to defeat, and we'll be doing that next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver. See you later, guys.